No, I've not played poker with Elizabeth Mitchell. I'm actually, I'd be frightened of that. I'm already, I'm already intimidated by her, and that just makes it more so. Hi guys, what's up? Hey, good seeing all of you. You're intimidated by her. <laughs> so my burning question. Um, so Revolution got a lot darker in the second half. How are you? What's going to happen now that you're on at 8 p.m.? It was really a 10 o'clock show. Now you've got a 10 o'clock show in an 8 p.m. slot. Is well, that going to change any of the tone? Uh, I'm a subversive son of a bitch. Uh, I react to an 8 o'clock time slot by saying, hey, we should get a little more violent. Oh. And, um, Wait, more blood? Uh, what's that? More blood? A little. Yeah, like, I, for the record, the, um, the number one note I get from um, uh, JJ and Bad Robot is, uh, look, man, that's really too violent. <laughs> and, uh, but that's just kind of my how I react. I, I, look, I don't want to defang the show. It's... You know, it's a really dangerous world. People die in it. They die. They have short and violent lives, and 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 we can't ignore that. Like we can't suddenly be this fairy tale. Uh, you know, we have to. We have to sort of be true to it. And um, and you know, and, and so I think you have to sort of embrace the edge of it. So no, I don't think we're actually retracting. And NBC, to their credit, because that was the very first question we asked. Literally the first question was, congratulations, you're 8 p.m. Literally the first email back was, Shh, do we have to be less violent? <laughs> and they were like, no, we want the same show. And I said, terrific. So I think we'll be okay. Unless everyone hates the violence, and then that's a whole <laughs> other issue. But damn it, I'm sticking with it. So in your mind, what's sort of the next phase of this show? This show this <clears throat> well, you know, you know I, I, season one for me was a very roller coaster of a season, both in terms of the story and, frankly, emotionally. Uh, it was really challenging. It was the hardest show I've ever worked on, for sure, like by a mile. And and so I think we did a lot of things right. I think we did a lot of things really fucking wrong. And, and so I really, if anyone knows me and knows my experience on Supernatural, I'm very relentless about trying to build a better engine and make the show even better and really learn from what I liked and what I didn't like in season one. And so for me, it was like, it was really great to just play out this storyline of whether or not we should flip a switch. Because at the end of the day, that's a dramatically limited story. Like, should we turn the switch on? Should we turn the switch off? Here's why we should turn it on. Here's why we should turn it off. I don't want to turn it on. I want to turn it off. And it was like, enough already. So we turned it on for a little bit. Uh, and now it's off, and it's off forever. Uh, I've taken that issue off the table. Uh, I think what's really great about the world, of our world, is how do you live in this neo-primitive America? And and a, and a show where people are firing submachine guns at each other and flying drones is off concept. You know, even myself, I'm watching the end of second, at the end of the first season, and I'm like, huh. A lot of power in this show without power. And I'm like, what's it about again? And I'm like, okay, I got to get off off this away. And so we really pushed through that. Uh, we really pushed through that to, like, we really kind of pushed through the looking glass to a different season two where it's the power's gone. Uh, we thought our heroes were going to stop those nukes. They do not. Uh, so, you know, Atlanta and Philadelphia are gone. The Monroe Republic and Georgia are in disarray. The East Coast is a disaster. Uh, it's a much more dangerous landscape. And, and then we have these guys coming up from Cuba, who we call the Patriots, who even though they claim to be Americans, they're not. They're this very dangerous, very insidious force. They're all like Randall's army, basically. And, and so now they're flowing up in. And so it's a season where last year was about, should we all run at each other with swords? And there's, trust me, there's going to be a lot of swords. But should we all run at each other with swords? And should we turn a light switch on and off? And this year is about, who's this mysterious army that are coming up? Who's this mysterious force? What's their conspiracy? A battle for the future of America? What, if, what did we do at the tower? How did we change reality? It's about God, and it's about being chosen, and it's about being fate, and it's about family. And so we really pushed through into a lot more interesting canvas of questions and mystery rather than just a very simple, you know, is, I thought season one, I thought the first half was too simple, and I thought the second half had too much power. And so I wanted a nice, com complex storyline, but in our sort of grittier, more brutal world, our 
our characters look sweaty this year. I was I, as much as everyone hated how clean they looked last year, no one hated it more than me. And I yelled and I yelled and, and finally this year like we fixed it. So uh, so it'll be a, I think it'll be a more dangerous world. Thank you so much. Oh, I only, I only got two questions. Give me one more. One more. I talk too long. Unless you don't have any. Really? No. Nope. Nope. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's that? You went back to that brotherly thing. Oh yeah, yeah. That's my deal, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. It turns out I have. A, turns out I have a thematic, which is <laughs> tight relationships between, you know, friends who are brothers, with like an unstated homoerotic subtext. <laughs> and like, and like, why is that my deal? Like. Like, frankly, I need a little therapy time <laughs> to realize why I keep going back to that issue. Uh, but I'm just really interested, you know, guys, uh, straight guys, straight guys who have a tight friendship, they're really fun to write for because they never say how they really feel. And it's and there's always a lot of punching each other and saying jokes. And, and So th- it's, it's good to write. You can write emotional stuff because guys never say what's emotional. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That quote was worth it. Yeah.